Hello students, this is DAC 2020 solution. We will be solving now from question number 35. Okay, uh, suppose that f of r is twice differentiable function that solves the differential equation d square a f minus d a f minus f minus 1 over r and satisfies the condition f of 0 equal to f k. Then, uh, which of the following is true? So, given that f x value. So, we can take it as e to the power t x plus c. Then, we differentiate this. So, twice so t square minus t minus 1 e to the power tx minus c minus 1 equal to 0 so now t1 less than 0 less than t2 if we take then the two roots t square minus t minus 1 equal to 0 so also using f0 equal to 0 from this part we can get that fx equal to c1 into e to the power t1x 1 minus c1 into e to the power t2 x minus 1. So we obtain the restriction on t1. Using f of k equal to 0 for k greater than 0. So verifying the limit extends to minus infinity fx we get it as minus in plus infinity and uh, with respect to only fx also we get infinity so putting these facts together we can get that only option 3 so only negative values are in the 3 so c is the correct answer okay so here we have a collection of sets b be the collection of sets x belongs to e and there exists a real number a of b for which this thing and uh, there is a rational number a and b such that a less than b so if you just solve it it uh, first we have to check that so e belongs to b and c is a proper subset of b now if we take this part so and uh, take any x if we take in this so we know that there exists a less x less v such that a and b is belongs to oh sorry is a subset of e so there are infinite many rationals between a and x and infinite many rationals between x and b a to x infinity x to b another infinity so uh, we pick uh, two values maybe a prime and a b prime for which a less than a prime less than x less than b prime less than b so in between a and x and in between b and x so we have this x belongs to a prime b prime which is a subset of e so e belongs to c and so b is a proper subset of c hence the option number c is correct the set x of y of r square x greater than 0 y less than equal to log x in e to the power x so is it what kind of set it is now that if this function r given r so fx equal to log x minus e to the power x so this will give you a concave structure and using the fact that uh, the function f of x y y is a concave structure so this will only happen if this set if we take this particular set is, which is belong in x so y less than equal to fx so this part will give you the convex set and uh, the answer to this question becomes convex so option number b is correct 38 suppose the distance between x and y is given by x minus y and the continuous function e is the open subset of r then what happens to this value okay so if r to r so it's a continuous structure and uh, this is only applicable for open sets okay so f inverse of e is x belongs to r fx belongs to e so r 
becomes open in this case. So the answer to this question is A. 38 is done. Now we proceed to 39. Which of the following two numbers is larger for k greater than or equal to 0? e to the power k pi or pi to the power k e. Okay. So now let y, da, y equal to x to the power 1 by x. So log of y equal to log of x by x y dash by y equal to 1 minus log x by x square so the max at max so both will give you x equal to it follows that e to the power 1 by e greater than pi to the power 1 by pi so obviously so for this particular structure if k equal to 1 by e pi so we get k to the power e to the power k pi is greater than pi to the power k e and if k equal to minus e pi, then we get e to the power pi into k is less than pi equal to k. Okay, so this is k is the decider. Hence, option number 4 is correct.